Yo, what's good guys? Man, it's been a long time since I posted on this YouTube channel. First of all, Happy New Year's, because it's been that late. It's like February 15 or something like that. Anyways, it's been a while. Uh, hopefully you guys had a good, you know, just Christmas, New Year's, all that good stuff. And hopefully for 2023, y'all kill it. I want to just hop back into YouTube with the Like The Scene Breakdown. I've seen a lot of you guys comment on my videos like, where you been? You know, that you guys were learning a lot when it came down to lighting. So I wanted to follow up with that and just make a video today when it comes to just lighting up a set. So today we're in the ice cream shop and what we're gonna do is show you guys the before and after as usual on how it can look with just regular house lights like right now that you're watching. And then when you dim everything down, turn all house lights off and just use your camera, your not your camera, but your, your film lights to show you guys side by side how each one looks, the difference, and why it's very essential to make sure you guys are lighting up your sets. They provide the mood, they give you certain looks, separation. There's a lot that comes with lighting your own sets. So today, we're only using one light, but realistically, I wanna talk about the one key thing that you really need in all your soft boxes and all your modifiers, I mean, flags can work as well, to help you get this type of look. Because today, it's really that little thing that I, I see a lot of people don't do that help you so much. So. What is it? What's that one little thing that everyone needs to me that I see a lot of people lack? And that is modifiers and just getting little accessories for your lights to help you shape your light better, control lighting, you know, give you that separation. This is what, what everyone's missing. This controls the light. It shapes your light. So essentially, this fabric grid is kind of like a uh, flag for let's just say guys so while I'm putting this fabric grid to control the light right now on this softbox I do want to I guess because a lot of you guys probably will question what exactly am I using here to kind of boom in over I guess where I'm gonna be sitting at and this is from Matthews I don't honestly know what it's called but it's kind of like a boom arm for it's for like lights um, I don't know the exact uh, name but if I could find it I bought this from Sammy's camera but I do happen to find it on Amazon. I'll place a link in the description below. But everything that I'm using for today, as far as lights and stuff, I will have it in the description. Um, but yeah, that's just like a heads up in case you guys are wondering, because having a boom arm for your lights is very clutch, because you can do overhead lighting in case there's nothing to rig it up on top. This kind of helps you, and you can extend it a lot longer. I just don't have sandbags. So I'm just trying to like do like a mid shot where I'm sitting down and this is not going to get in the way. When it came to this uh, fabric barn door, so it's essentially like a flag, you're cutting it off. But see, if a flag, if I also place it right here, you will completely block the light from coming out this way. But the problem is when you're doing it with these fabric barn doors, I consider it the smart lazy way, but it has a very small disadvantage to a flag. This one is going to cut it, but it's still going to come out a little bit it's not gonna just straight up block it the light will still come a little bit this way again you can counter it by just kind of modifying the light kind of just twisting it but that's just a heads up it's taking like a flag it's actually better because you don't have to put on the C stand and flag it this is just one light it's already up there on a C stand just, it's easier to just it's time efficiency for me if you have the time you can go all that crazy old school route i consider this like the new school this does a hell of a job when it comes to controlling the light so now let me go ahead and just turn off the house light so you can see let me turn this on so you guys can see it all kind of just flip but i think i already got the shot anyway so we're going with daylight right now so let's go ahead and turn off the house lights all righty so i gotta go into the light i don't know how i'm pretty sure it doesn't get me right here but but anyways, yeah, this is what the fabric um, does when you put it on your softbox. It literally just centers it around the area where it's over. So it's pretty clutch. It doesn't get on this side. So notice how there's, you know, there's, it's not hitting it. If you were to take this out, as a matter of fact, let me do it so you guys can just see how bright it's gonna do. It does a lot. This is literally like, just listen to me, trust me. This is gonna do a lot. It controls the lighting 100%. So let me take this out and it might get blown out over there, but just to show you guys what this does. All right, so that's without it. And again, obviously it's not gonna reach that far. And I have it super low, but if I also have it super high to get the shot, it's gonna start flooding everywhere. So this right here allows you to control the light. So this is like a major, Thing that I would tell anybody to get. First, you have a softbox. If you don't have this fabric grid, 
grab it. Um, it's honestly not that expensive. This is like the one key thing that I wanted to make the video on to kind of just talk back on this because this is so important. Something as small as this controls the light and it helps you elevate your production look, your image, make it pop. Um, hopefully you guys like the shot that I got where I was just kind of sitting down, chilling. So you guys can see basically with the house lights, with the soft box, because I got that shit as well, just with this, and then also with the fabric to show you guys all three steps on what each does. And you guys will see this will just spread out a little bit more. Again, I don't have it super high, but if I was to have it, this will make a big ass difference right now. It's just because I don't want to, you know, I don't know. I just got lazy to lift it up. But just so you guys can see the differences from all three. So thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm going to be posting more going forward. I uh, really want to just focus this channel on strictly lighting. I have multiple studios. I can do a lot of things that I want to do. Uh, so if there's anything you guys want to see besides lighting, feel free to put it down in the description. In the description. I'm new to this right now. I feel like I haven't done it in a long time, which has been a long time. So feel free to leave it down in the comments if there's anything else you guys want me to break down or talk about in this channel. Anyways, as always, I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Let's kill it. Let's have a great 2023. Let's light every fucking scene up dope as hell for the remaining of this year. Let's just elevate this shit. Let's, let's get cinematic shots, whatever that means, cinematic. Never understood that term, but catch you guys next time. Peace. By the way, this is dope. I got like a slider. Again, I know I said I was gonna focus on lighting and stuff, but man, this slider was super cheap. It was like 350, it's a GVM brand. And just what it does for these type of shots, I'm probably dark as hell because the lights over here is focused on there, but yeah. Anyways, peace out.